Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to show you guys this bronze summer golden goddess look. I just got back from Cuba, which is why I am so tan. I think I got like three shades darker, but I was inspired to kind of create a very bronzy look for you guys. So I hope you like this. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and yeah, let's get started. My skin is already prepped, now I just need to prime it. I'm gonna try priming it with this new foundation primer um, in Radiance that I just got by Laura Mercier. I wanted to give my skin a little bit extra dewiness and a glow of Radiance. So now I'm going to be using my foundation in concealer. So I got super tan while I was in Cuba, so I had to buy a darker shade in my foundation, but I use the Chanel Perfection Linear Velvet. This is my favorite foundation. It applies so naturally. Um, it gives enough coverage while still being somewhat on the sheer side. So just gotta shake it up. And I'm gonna just do like a light layer because I don't wanna look um, to cover it up. I want this look to be pretty um, light with the foundation. Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to go into the concealer just yet. Um, since this is going to be more eyeshadow than I'm used to, um, I'm going to just start with that first and then um, that way if anything falls out underneath the eyes, we can just clean it up and then do the concealer afterwards. So I'm going to be using a lot of warm tones and a lot of nudes, some gold, um, and then a little bit of shimmer in this look too. So first I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to zoom in for the eyeshadow portion. So just to set the concealer that I use as a primer, I'm using a very bone colored shade in Foxy by Urban Decay. So I'm mainly going to be using shadows from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. It has a lot of nice um, warm tones. Whoops! So first, using Golden Ochre. Next, I'm going to use Raw Sienna. Next, I'm using Corduroy by MAC with a little bit more of a denser brush. You want to pack the color, the darker colors, closer to your lash line. So if anything, you could work from the outer edges in, or you can start at your lash line and work upwards. Usually when I'm working on um, clients, I'll use this technique just because it's easier for me. But whatever is easier and most natural to you is what you should do. I don't want this look to be too smoky, but I still want a little bit of uh, liner effect. <laughs> and basically I'm gonna line my eyes with that shade. It's really dark, so I don't want too much, but I still want my eyes to be defined. And adding a little depth never hurts. Drag it down under your eyes as well. And then I'm gonna use raw sienna again just to blend it out. 
and to take away some of that darkness so that the look is not too harsh. Okay, so more than it being like a smoky look, I want it to be just like really warm and bronzy. So I'm just gonna go in with this burnt orange over top to add a little bit extra warmth over the darker shades that I just applied. And do the same with the bottom. Going back to naked. I take half baked. This one is nice and golden. So I'm just gonna take a very fluffy brush and do like a nice light sweep across. I'm gonna line my under eye to give it a little bit extra shimmer as well. Believe it or not, we're almost done. So next, I'm just going to take this really pretty um, Primavera color for the inner corners. Let's get some brows on so I don't look so weird. I just got this brow set from the Nordstrom sale. Um, it's the Anastasia Brow Wiz and their brow gel. Super excited. Um, I love how skinny this pencil is. I mean, look. It gives you so much precision. Mine's in medium brown. So because it is so skinny, I love this pencil. I can just draw in little hairs where I need it. So in the front, I always like to draw it upwards because that's the way my brows naturally grow. Seriously, night and day. What a difference eyebrows make, right? Okay, so the eyeshadow, liner, mascara, it's all done. Now I have brows. So I'm just going to clean up under my eyes with some concealer. So I got a lot of sun um, while I was in Cuba and oh my God, the beaches were amazing. But I did get a lot of sunspots, and for me, they're a little bit raised on my skin, mainly in this general area. And so I have to like make sure that I am pushing the concealer in. Just wanna make sure it's nice and blended. I'm gonna fix some of the eyeshadow after I'm done setting this too, so. But this way, it's nice and clean under the eye. You can see it makes a huge difference. And with whatever is left, I'm just gonna, whoop, brush. With whatever is left, I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose to highlight that. Now I'm just going to use my Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I think it's sheer enough that I don't need to use another new powder or get a new shade for my tan skin. This is a Sun Glow Bronzer by Sicily. It has two shades, so I'm actually gonna mix the two. I feel like the top one is a little too red for my skin tone, but mainly using this one to contour. And then I'm gonna go over it with my original bronzer, Golden Light by Bobbi Brown. 
And with a fluffier bronzing brush, so just gonna do a nice little sweep. And kind of just like blend the other one in. Nice and bronze. Honestly, bronzer is my best friend. So I got a new highlighter. My cousin recommended this. This is the Wet n Wild and Golden Flower Crown. How pretty. So we'll see how it looks on the face, but I am excited to try this. I wanted a nice um, golden shade highlighter because the one that I have um, has more of a pink undertone. Um, I might go over it with the NARS um, Albatross if I don't love this, but we'll see. Ooh, I like it. I think I like the nice golden glow that it gives, but it is slightly cakey. So I don't know if I absolutely love that, but I think it was like $4 or something. You get what you pay for. It's not bad for $4 though. So. so I think I will go in with a little bit of the Albatross on top. This palette is so old. It's that this one. Because this is like a bronzy, glowy look. Can never have too much bronzer or highlighter, I think. Okay, so to finish off the face, I'm going to use some blush. And I'm gonna use this parte. And since I want like a golden sun kissed look, I'm gonna use this one. And that is Luster by NARS. Okay, and then I'm gonna just apply something on my lips. And again, I think I'm just gonna stay with the peach tones. So I'm using Isola Bella by NARS. There's like none left. But it's this nice like peachy color. You will see in just two seconds. I'm just gonna top it off with this gloss by Chanel pretty much clear but there's like little gold specks in it so okay and this is the final look nice and sun-kissed bronzy glowy oh one last final step oops the illuminating setting spray by cover effects just to make sure this stays put all day long Such a fine mist. It smells amazing too. Alright guys, so this was the final look. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share this with your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment below. Let me know um, what you thought of this look. And then um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for upcoming videos as well. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!